Excuse me. Hi, I'm Rick, <clears throat> and this is an AncientChess.com video. <coughs> We're going to be talking today about Shogi, the chess of Japan. <clears throat> Here's a pamphlet that explains how to play Shogi, and you can get this pamphlet for free <clears throat> on my website, AncientChess.com. But that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about shogi sets, all different kinds of shogi. And, uh, well, let's, let me show you what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> Here's a typical uh, little shogi set. Uh, no big deal. It's uh, got the... <clears throat> each character has two kanji. That means two Chinese characters. Yes, Japan uses Chinese characters as one of its three official alphabets. Although they really have four now, because they use ours as well. <clears throat> there are 40 pieces altogether. And uh, most of the pieces have another thing on the other side of them. So the game is, well, it's the most complicated kind of chess in the world. It's based on the same original chess that our chess is based on, but it's a completely different form, as you see. <clears throat> this particular set has burned wood figures. These are um, pieces that are just kind of branded into the pieces. And it's got a drawer here where you can put them all away when you're, when you're not playing. So, that's kind of neat, isn't it? It's really a, a smaller, convenient set. And uh, we'll talk about some more serious sets later. But first, let's talk about breaking shogi down. Now, as I was mentioning, shogi is the most complicated kind of chess. But this really cute little game called Let's Catch the Lion simplifies shogi so that you can get the basic concepts of it in a very cute little animal based format. Look at this. The board is only three by four squares. Okay? Can you believe it? And the pieces are these little animal guys. Yeah, little animals. Ooh. Lion King. Well, it's the lion. Giraffe. <clears throat> you just set them up like this. Each pl player has four pieces. And There's little dots to tell you where they go. You play Shogi. Now, I have another video that um, shows you how to play this, so don't worry. I wanted to show you. This is a really neat set. Now, once you master this set, what you do is you progress on to big animal Shogi. Check this out. Tobutsu Shogi in the Greenwood. Nice wooden box, sliding top. Ooh, it's so nice. I love this set. Matt is folded. It's a little piece of cloth. Folds out into a big piece of cloth. Set aside little lion shogi. Let me show you this one. This is actually a full-size shogi game. But, since you've learned to play on the Let's Catch the Lion set, all the pieces are these little animal characters, just like in Let's Catch the Lion. So you're going to actually learn how to play Shogi on this set. Let me adjust the... There you go. You're going to learn how to play Shogi on this set, but you're going to learn with little animals. The bunny rabbit hops because it's the jumper. It's the springer. It is the um, knight the horse. It's a bunny, a cat, a dog. Everybody has the same thing. And all the little pawns are little chicks. And when they promote, they flip over and turn into hens. Isn't that nice? The promotion fields are green grass on one side, blue sky on the other side. See? Nice little variation in color there. Shows you when you're stepping into the promotion zone. If you're familiar with the Shogi, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, don't worry. Just watch one of my other videos and you'll learn how to play all these games. Anyway, this is full set of Shogi. And um, I have the rules for this. They're exactly the same as Shogi rules, but of course, all the characters are little animals. Isn't that nice? It really is nice. I love this set. So once you learn this game, and by the way, it's got the little dots to remind you of how the pieces move, but once you learn this game, you get familiar with it, then you've already learned how to play Shogi. You just have to get used to the Japanese characters. And let me move along with that because I've got a way to transition forward from that too. This is a simplified set. 
Now you see each piece has just one character, one kanji, as they say, and it's the first kanji in the regular set. So here's the regular set with two kanji, it's the king general or the jade general, and here's just the king or the jade, whatever, here you go. There's a little bit different on the two sides. But um, just likewise, instead of a gold general, it just has the word gold. And I have these a little mixed up here. Voila. This is uh, very convenient for um, learning because you just have to get used to seeing one character. It's not so scrambly in your mind. But it's also good for study and particularly because a typical shogi book, here's a typical shogi book, shogi for beginners, will have these characters written just as the one character. The upside down ones are their guys and the right side up ones are your guys. But it's just like you see here just one kanji is the way that they're written in the books. So this is good for study and for play. There's some very good videos on the internet um, by somebody, I think the video channel is called Haidechi, and uh, they use this set. This is actually from the same company. So they use this very same set in demonstrating because it comes off much more clearly when you're watching a video of it. It's much easier to see everything at a glance, what the, what the pieces are and what they're doing. Now this board, here, let me just push this aside. You guys, beep, this board, I actually make these. It's a solid piece of wood and then laminated on the top is the pattern of the shogi and the uh, pattern here is uh, a bamboo wood. But this is actually a pine. It's got nice little corners on it so you don't scratch up your precious table. Um, I, li I like these boards. We make them here. They're good. Let me show you something else. Here is a full set. Now you notice that these sets are really um, professional quality. They're not as um, light as the other sets. Though that first set I showed you, these pieces are, well look at the difference. These are very dark and clear. These are um, burned wood. They're a nice color, but this makes a much more clear impression in your mind and is more preferred for serious play. And as you can imagine, this game gets very serious because, you know, who wouldn't want to be serious about a game of shogi, really? Shogi. Oh, another thing. Look at these guys. These are the ones with just the one kanji. When you turn them over, oh, that's not a good example. When you turn them over, they promote into a red character. This one, the angle goer, just written here as angle, turns into the dragon horse, written here as horse, but it's red. You see, so when you got a bunch of pieces on the board, you see the red ones are the promoted values. Very easy to see. The traditional sets like this, they don't have red. They're all black. So you, when you turn them over to promote, you don't have that red symbol to let you know that it is in fact promoted, but the nature of the character is different. You see this is a very uh, traditional uh, old Chinese character. These are more like a quickly written cursive style. And that's true of all the promoted values. Well, almost. This one looks pretty much the same. This, uh, this here, this one you can see is quickly written. Well, that's interesting. This looks very much the same as uh, just one of the one kanji characters, but this is the promoted value of the silver general. The, the gold general does not have a promoted value. The cinnamon horse looks like that when it promotes, and the lance looks like this when it promotes, which is kind of cute. And now this board, I also make these. And these are the same, except they fold. Now look, I've got an adhesive strip here. It's very strong stuff. Um, eight little dots to protect your precious table. And it folds like that. Good stuff. I'll show you a few other variations. That first set I showed you with the little burned pieces, the burned wood pieces, here's a, another set of them, you know, plastic. And they also come 
with a folding board like this. So it's very much like what I just showed you, but the pieces are lighter, the board is smaller. And um, this is actually made in China. Wouldn't you know it? China makes everything. They make everything for Japan as well. China makes these shogi sets. These shogi pieces are from Japan. And of course the ones I happen to have here are the high quality ones. See how I just mixed them all up so they're all the one kanji and the two kanji are all mixed together? After this video, I'm going to sort them all out again. I'll show you just a few more things. Here's, you'll, you'll see this for sale if you like look on eBay or something. These are, this is the kind of the cheap kind of board. It's a frame and then very thin wood in the middle there. It's printed on here. It's, it's okay, but um, you know, it's the cheap light kind. It doesn't cost too much to ship. It does the job. You can play shogi on it. Now here's the other extreme. Well, it's not extreme, but it's the other side of the scale here. I've got a brother-in-law who lives in Japan, and I asked him to pick up a shogi set from Japan for me. This is higher class, higher, more expensive, let's just say, than the ones that I sell. See, it's made of this nice wood. It, it does fold, the hinge, and it's got these pieces. The pieces look a lot like the ones that I just showed you. A little bit bigger, a little smoother. This one actually has a signature of, uh, you know, the person or the entity who's responsible for these things. And there it is with a quick cursive promotional value. A little harder to uh, understand the intended meaning of some of these quickly drawn figures, but they're very stylish, very nice. Yeah, this one too. It's like what the heck, you know? Here's the. Um, we call the lance, and that doesn't have promotional value. <laughs> so there we go. This is a this is my very nice set. Yeah, even the pawn. It's like look at that. What what is that? It's like for a few quick lines. That's a promoted value of the pawn. It's more stylized, but you know since. She's, is made for like real Japanese players. It's made for people who are very deeply culturally familiar with the characters, so they don't have the challenges we have just trying to figure out what is what. There's a lot more room for stylization. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you for Shogi. And um, Please turn to my other videos and uh, I'll show you how to play all these different games. Regular Shogi, I'll show you how to play the Let's Catch a Lion, and of course the Animal Shogi game. Once again, this is AncientChess.com, and uh, oh, I should mention, if you, uh, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up, there's a little button down there, thumbs up means you like, and that helps promote the video, gets more people interested in all this shogi business. Thanks.